Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and we are here on day one of iOS 18 beta 2. I've been using this for a full day now, so I want to go ahead and give you guys my update on bugs, battery life, uh, new features, stuff like that. Um, I usually tend to try to use these for about a day just to get an idea of everything, and then I will do a video at one week and two weeks. Uh, just to let you guys know how everything's running and how it is in my day-to-day -day use. Uh, so first things first, all, one of the big features everybody is talking about is if we go to message settings, let me make sure I'm not going to show any phone numbers here. Um, if we go to message settings right here, you can see we do have um, RCS messaging now. Um, now when the beta first came out yesterday, everybody was saying that this was not working. And then today it just started working for everybody. Um, sometimes you have to turn it off and back on to get it to show up. Um, but I can confirm that the message threads that I do have uh, between, uh, between Android users are showing as RCS messaging. Um, so it is working. You can see the read receipts. You can see um, tap back and uh, reactions and all that kind of stuff. All that works in there and it is uh, sent over Wi-Fi or data instead of regular SMS, so you get better pictures, better videos, all the kind of stuff that sends, uh, or that comes along with um, sending over RCS rather than uh, the old school SMS. So that is working um, in iOS 18 uh, beta 2. It does depend on the carrier, not all carriers are supporting it right now, but on supported carriers it is working. Um, it seems to be working pretty well from uh, my experience. Um, another thing is the App Store. Um, does now have a dark icon. It did not in beta 1. Um, it does in beta 2. Unfortunately, uh, the little trick that we used to get the new Siri UI has been patched in iOS 18 beta 2. Um, I did try to use that tool again to re-enable it, um, and it does not. Uh, it did re-enable, but it does not actually work. It doesn't show up or anything like that. Um, the only bug I've had um, that is different since updating to beta 2 is um, some of my home controls, um, they did take a while to load. Um, I did have to re-add the widget um, to get those to show back up. They just weren't showing, it was just blank like I needed to set it up again. Um, and then after adding them back, I had to wait a few minutes before they actually showed up again. Uh, so not too sure what was going on there, but ever since they popped back up, I haven't had any issues with that. A uh, new feature here is you can now tap the top of the screen from Control Center to close it. Um, and if you want to hit the power button up here, You'd actually have to press and hold on it for a second. Um, it does have some haptic feedback, so you don't accidentally hit that button when you uh, go to close your control center. Because a lot of people, since they swipe down from the top, they uh, instead of swiping you know down there, they just tap up top to get rid of it. And a lot of people were annoyed by that, that the fact that it kept locking their phone. Because when you hit that power button and then you cancel the power off, um, it does disable Touch ID or Face ID, and you have to enter your passcode again and unlock your phone when you do that. So. It was just kind of an added extra step and annoyance after people were accidentally pressing that trying to dismiss control center. Um, everything else has been pretty good. Um, been about nine, 10 hours on battery here and we're at 60, 60%. And that would uh, be with some moderate usage, I'd say. Um, so I'm not really having any battery life issues. Um, battery life seems to be about the same. Um, it's not great, it's not bad. It's, you know, ha really hasn't changed. Um, it's good overall is what I mean, but um, it hasn't gotten better or worse is what I'm trying to say. So no issues there. Um, that was really all I had an issue with. Everything else has been working pretty good. Uh, the keyboard lag from beta one that everybody has been reporting, um, that does seem to be there time to time still. I don't think that's something they really worked on um, in beta two. So hopefully um, in beta three, we'll get a fix for that uh, because it is noticeable sometimes and it does get quite annoying if you're typing like a long message or sending a bunch of messages back and forth. Um, it is something that pops up every now and then and you definitely notice it, but everything else has been running good. Um, one new cool thing with the flashlight is, I don't know how you'll be able to see this on camera, but when you turn the flashlight on and off, you can see it does fade on and fade off. Now it's not just on and off. Um, I don't know what phones that works on. I think it is only the newer ones. So the 15 pros, pro max, the ones that have the uh, control center right there. And it looks like for whatever reason that isn't going away. Okay, there we go. For some reason that didn't want to go away. Usually it goes away pretty quickly, but it didn't. Um, so that might be a little bit of an issue there too. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, it works on the 15 Pro Max. I don't think it works on older devices. I know it doesn't work on my uh, M4 iPad Pro. Um, so probably limited to just the Dynamic Island devices or the 15, uh, uh, 15 series. But one of the new little uh, features in there as well. I am Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. And I will be doing another video on iOS 18 Beta 2 after a week of use.